didn't have anything to do this afternoon, so we thought we'd take the camera out. This is one of the, the a ge uh, geographical spot in Marathon County, one of the highlights of, of this area. Um, well, it's a little north, northwest of Wausau, Wisconsin. And we're out here with John Altenberg and myself. We thought we'd treat you to this, this monumental moment here. Um, I don't know how we, how this area got blessed with, with such a, such a natural phenomenon. The National Geographical Survey has captured this all, and I guess we all should be grateful. Why, why don't we just go over here a little, and uh, we'll all know what it's all about in just a few seconds. There it is. Behold. The 45th parallel. A lot of taxpayers' money went into that. Hi, huh, John. Uh, I don't think many people around this area realize what's in their backyard. Um, you know, they, they can come out and see the 45th parallel for themselves. And uh, if you notice, there's a lot of cars coming down the highway to, to check it out. They're coming. Um, we picked a good time though, it uh, looks like uh, most of these people have already seen it, but uh, let, let's just... Uh, well, they, well, yeah, I think, I, I think not a lot of people notice it, they just live here and they take it for granted. You think they take it for granted? That's the shame of the whole map. Like it says, the 45th parallel, halfway between the equator and the North Pole. Halfway between the equator and the North Pole. Do you know what that means? Tell us what it means, Steve. That has all sorts of implications, John. The 45th parallel, which is 45 degrees north of the equator, 45 degrees south of the equator, or roughly, approximately 3,105 miles north of the equator or south of the North Pole, whichever may you have. Are you sure about those facts, Steve? Approximately, approximately. I checked on this one, John. Um, yeah, it, 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 what, let's, let's take this one distates, last look. Okay, this dictates the climatic changes in this area. The sun's rays hit this earth, hit this area here at what? It would be a, not a direct angle, not, not a, a 90 degree angle like at the equator. It would be at a 45 degree angle, I would think. I don't know. Sure about those facts, Steve? Well, those facts, I don't know. I might be pushing it a little bit. Might be stretching it, but uh, hey. Let's try to locate the exact line. The line, there should be a line. And we're gonna uh, cut out right this second. We'll be right back. Which pushes governmental cuts. No one has been here to take care of the 45th parallel. So I just come out here on my own time and weed it. <laughs> I, it's my job for Marathon County. As you can see, <laughs> could spend some afternoons out here, folks. It's looking better already, isn't it, Jack? It really is. It really is. Look at that line. I think society owes you a great deal, Steve. I think so, too. So I don't wander off somewhere. If I don't, you know what this could mean, John? The implications here? If I would go off, I could change the whole pattern of the climates, the cloud movement, everything. If I would move the 45th parallel, imagine that. It's one man moving the 45th parallel. <laughs> I could ch I could change I could change the the happenings of the world with this journey. The axis of the world would wouldn't be tilting like this; it'd be <laughs> tilt like that, which would create the polar caps to melt and flooding and pestilence and gnashing of teeth. Honest to God, you're doing a great job, Steve, and and I just want you to know that I appreciate your efforts. You do. And um, I'm glad someone does.
Go get them, Steve. How was that? Look better? It looks great. Looks great. Go get it, Steve. Okay. Well, John, I gotta get back to my job here, so maybe I'll see you next week.